are going to do justice to all Burma people. We are going to curb this menace of corruption that has actually militated against our development in terms of infrastructure. We are going to curb, we are going to wage a crusade. Corruption is the canker worm that has actually deep deeply into the system. And why? It's because there is there is supposed to be justice for all. Once there's justice, people are being taken care of, and um, uh, uh, there's at least a minimum uh, minimum uh, 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 social security. Believe me, all these kind of issues of corruption will um, abate by itself. Public servants should earn very reasonable amount of money as their wages and allowances. And then, of course, we should talk to ourselves right inside our mind that whatever we do, we're going to account to our creator. So, I'm, I'm sorry, you had, you had, you had you want to talk about it. A number of cases that have been filed. In. Well, the cases that are filed before us now, we are going to begin to sort them out one by one. We, in, we usually have ordinary sessions all across the country. So we have all the record of cases that are pending. And now that with the composition of the tribunal as a whole, we will step into action immediately and begin to tackle the cases pending before us with dispatch. And most importantly, our trial mostly are summary in nature. So it doesn't take time. We can dispense with cases, with many cases as possible, once we get the um, adequate funding. And I want to say that um, there are cases also that we are thinking that the EFCC and the ICFC should be bringing to the tribunal rather than taking them before the courts or rather than asking for any special courts uh, for financial crime. Public officers that are accused by the ICPC and the EFCC of converting public funds to their usage, why are they supposed to bring them? They're supposed to bring them before the Court of Conduct Tribunal. Once the tribunal is fully, no, fully have more time and more time. No. Once the tribunal is fully funded, believe me, we can tackle those. And one thing that one should understand is that the judgment of the tribunal is once the judgment is done, there is no prerogative of mercy. And that person, if he's politically exposed, if he's a public servant, can be removed with immediate effect. We can remove persons from office, we can um, seize his assets wherever they are. So that is basically the position. Thank you.